mantras of our divine mother our divine mother says om supreme lord take possession of these cells take possession of the brain take possession of these nerves take possession of this body take possession of this matter take possession of these atoms O Supreme Lord, O Supreme Lord, manifest your splendor with love and blessing, says our Divine Mother. Prayers from the Soul Our Divine Mother says, My Lord, make me entirely Thine. My Lord, let me be entirely and sincerely Yours. O Lord, give me a perfect sincerity. O Lord, let me be perfectly Yours forever. Aspiration addressed to the Supreme, let all in me be always at Your service. of our Lord Sri Aurobindo from the book Synthesis of Yoga from the Collective Works Volume 23 Book 1 Page 83 Topic Self-Consecration Our Lord Sri Aurobindo says Into all our endeavor upward the lower element of desire will at first naturally enter for what the enlightened will sees as the thing to be done and pursues as the crown to be conquered, what the heart embraces as the one thing delightful that in us which feels itself limited and opposed and because it is limited craves and struggles will seek with the troubled passion of an egoistic desire. This craving life force or desire soul in us has to be accepted at first, but only in order that it may be transformed. Even from the very beginning it has to be taught to renounce all other desires and concentrate itself on the passion for the divine. This capital point gained, it has to be taught to desire not for its own separate sake but for God in the world and for the divine in ourselves. It has to fix itself upon no personal spiritual gain though of all possible spiritual gains we are sure but on the great work to be done in us and others on the high coming manifestation which is to be the glorious fulfillment of the divine in the world on the truth that has to be sought and lived and enthroned forever but last most difficult for it more difficult than to seek with the right object it has to be taught to seek in the right manner For it must learn to desire, not in its own egoistic way, but in the way of the divine. It must insist no longer, as the strong separative will always insists, on its own manner of fulfillment, its own dream of possession, its own idea of the right and the desirable. It must yearn to fulfill a larger and greater will and consent 
to wait upon a less interested and ignorant guidance thus trained desire that great unquiet harasser and troubler of man and cause of every kind of stumbling will become fit to be transformed into its divine counterpart for desire and passion too have their divine forms there is a pure ecstasy of the soul seeking beyond all craving and grief there is a will of ananda that sits glorified in the position of the supreme beatitudes our lord shri aurobindo says when once the object of concentration has possessed and is possessed by the three master instruments the thought the heart and the will a consummation fully possible only when the desire soul in us has submitted to the divine law the perfection of mind and life and body can be effectively fulfilled in our transmuted nature of the deathless path as part to reach the being's absolute out of the soul and darkness of the world out of the depths where life and sorrow are drawn lonely mounts up the heaven the deathless place Our Lord Sri Aurobindo says this will be done not for the personal satisfaction of the ego but that the whole may constitute a fit temple for the divine presence a faultless instrument for the divine work for that work can be truly performed only when the instrument consecrated and perfected has grown fit for a selfless action and that will be when personal desire and egoism are abolished but not the liberated individual even when the little ego has been abolished the true spiritual person can still remain and god's will and work and delight in him and the spiritual use of his perfection and fulfillment our works will then be divine and done divinely our mind and life and will devoted to the divine and will be used to help fulfill in others and in the world that which has been first realized in ourselves all that we can manifest in the embodied unity love freedom strength power splendor immortal joy which is the goal of the spirit's terrestrial adventure a lord shri arbindo says the yoga integral yoga must start with an effort or at least a settled turn towards this total concentration a constant and unfailing will of consecration of all ourselves to the supreme is demanded of us an offering of our whole being and our many chambered nature to the eternal whose the all the effective fulfillment of our concentration on the one thing needful to the exclusion of all else will be the measure of our self consecration to the one who is alone desirable but this exclusiveness will in the end exclude nothing except the falsehood of our way of seeing the world and our will's ignorance for our concentration on the eternal will be consummated by the mind when we see constantly the divine in itself and the divine in ourselves but also the divine in all things and beings and happenings it will be consummated by the heart 
when all emotions is summed up in the love of the divine of the divine in itself and for itself but love too of the divine in all its beings and powers and personalities and forms in the universe it will be consummated by the will when we feel and receive always the divine impulsion and accept that alone as our sole motive force but this will mean that having slain to the last rebellious straggler the wandering impulses of the egoistic nature we have universalized ourselves and can accept with a constant happy acceptance the one divine working in all things this is the fundamental siddhi of the integral yoga our lord shri arbindo says it is nothing less that is meant in the end when we speak of the absolute consecration of the individual to the divine but this total fullness of consecration can only come by a constant progression when the long and difficult process of transforming desire out of existence is completed in an ungrudging measure perfect self consecration implies perfect self surrender says our lord shri arbindo of the meaning of the universe perfection key passport to paradise